You see this creature with her curbstone English? The English that will keep her in the gutter for the rest of her days? Well, sir, in three months I could pass her off as a duchess at an ambassador's reception. No, no, no. Oh, very well, I'll go, I'll go. Oh, sorry. Now then, Freddy, look where you're going, dear. Oh, I suppose if I haven't got enough to do. Oh, he's your son, is he? Well, if you've done your duty by him as a mother should, he'd no bother to spoil a poor girl's flowers and run away without paying. Unless... Look over there, taking on every blessing word you're saying. But I ain't done nothing wrong by speaking to the gentleman. I'm a... What do you want to take down while I sit for? You just show me what you wrote. How do I know if you took me down right? What? What's that? That ain't proper writing. Oh, sir. Oh, don't let him charge me. Oh, you don't know what it means to me. They'll take away my character and they'll drive me on the streets for speaking to gentlemen. You charge? I make no charge. <laughs> Really, sir, you needn't start protecting me from molestation until I ask you. Anyone can see the girl meant no harm. <laughs> well, I have thought of doing so. Perhaps I shall someday. Then how on earth do you do it? Simply phonetics. The science of speech. That's my profession. Is it? Yes, it's also my hobby. You see, you can spot a Yorkshireman or an Irishman by his brogue. But I can place any man within six miles. I can place it within two miles in London. Sometimes, as in the case of this girl, within two streets. Oh, Woman, cease this detestable boo-hooing instantly. I've a right to be here if I like. Same as you. A woman who utters such depressing and disgusting sounds has no right to be anywhere. English. You mean you could make me? Yes, you squashed cabbage leaf. You disgrace to the noble architecture of these columns. You incarnate insult to the English language. I could pass you off as the Queen of Sheba. <laughs> well, he ain't above giving lessons. Not him, I heard him say so. And if my money's not good enough, I can go elsewhere. Good enough for what? Good enough for you. Well, I never offered you 60 pounds. Oh, yes, I'm. Well, I ain't got 60 pounds. Oh, Gerald, nobody's going to touch your money. Somebody's going to touch you with a broomstick if you don't stop sniveling. Sit down, will you? Oh, her. Anyone would think he was my father. He didn't. This is almost irresistible. She's so deliciously low. So horribly dirty. No! Oh, you ain't dirty. No! Don't let this little bobby is all getting weak! This is every opportunity! No! But heaven help the master who's judged by his disciples. But if you can beat your lousy, we're done. Don't just bother about the bit. Let's go home. Oh, rubbish, that idiot. Good evening. Who is the charming girl you brought? Is she a relation? Not of mine, no. She has such a faraway look, as if she always lived in a garden. So she has. A, a sort of garden. Of course, now you've been crying, you look as ugly as the very devil, but... when you're quite all right and yourself, you're what I should call attractive, feeling. I'm sorry. I'm only a common, ignorant girl. And in my station, I have to be careful. There can't be any feelings between the like of you and the like of me. Don't. This ring... It isn't the jeweler. It's the one you bought me in Brighton. I don't want it now. 